As you can see, Laura, this Minnesota rally is not going exactly as planned for President Trump. The governor here, Governor Waltz, restricted attendees to 250, even though there are thousands behind barricades here outside the rally. We spoke to some of the attendees. Your reaction to your governor, Governor Waltz and uh, Keith Ellison, limiting the number of people here. There are thousands stuck outside. Only 250 people were allowed inside. Mm -hmm. Well, it's classic. Governor Walls is trying to shut down Trump, and he's trying to shut down America, and he's, and he's done, shut and he shut down Minnesota. Mm -hmm. So why, why let something be successful and let half the people have freedom? Mm -hmm. and, and he's never complained about the protests or no. stopped any of those. He let Minneapolis burn. Mm -hmm. The weather will not drive me out of this state. The politics might. Yeah. I want to thank the thousands of people outside who were barred from entry by radical Democrats. You are American patriots. Thank you very much. What do you make of your governor restricting the number of people that can get into this rally? Let's get rid of him. Let's get rid of him. We want our state back. They're just scared and they, they don't care. I mean, it's we're here for freedom and we're just here to make America great again. I think it's a disgrace. We have our American freedom. We have our right to assemble and we are obviously here doing it peacefully. Hands down, you're not going to stop us from coming out and we are going to continue to believe in our freedoms and we're going to till, till do what we want to do. We are Americans, we're Minnesotans, and we are free. Yeah. Yeah. Dr. Fauci called for a mask mandate last week. This isn't a political statement like those ugly folks over there beeping the horns. He said they're ugly folks. Your reaction to that? Shocking and a lie. Lying Joe Biden. A lie. I'm a little ugly, but I would say that uh, he's he's out of his mind. He's, he's not in touch with reality of Americans. I tell him to look around here. There's a lot of beautiful people here, and we're all here to support our great president. What do you want to hear? Why did you decide to make this trip? Well, we drove all the way down from Minneapolis, and we, we knew we weren't going to get in even though we had tickets, but we thought, let's just go, be part of the crowd, be part of the support, and just see what's happening. So my kids could see a great man. Um, just because I, I like my President Trump. He's, uh, he's very true to his word. He's uh, he's all about America. He's all about the people. What is it that makes you stand out in the cold and support him? Freedom. He loves America. We love freedom. Exactly right. Freedom. What about you? Freedom. Because we love and support our president. He's pro-life. He's the first president who has spoke at a pro-life rally. What's the issue for you? It's pro-life. And then call me a one a, a one issue voter. That's it. At the end of the day, it all comes down to we live in a free country. We have rights. We want to come see the president talk about what he's been doing, what he's going to do for the country. Laura, at many of the Biden rallies, the cars on the periphery don't even react when the candidate appears at the podium. That is not the case at these Trump rallies. Even outside, they have huge crowds. And this will no doubt translate into those two most important factors come Election Day, enthusiasm and momentum. The president is leaving nothing on the table. He has at least 13 events planned between now and Election Day.